Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Aries. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is a card of someone who is really dedicated to making something work. They're giving it their all. This is an energy of almost like, it can be a bit perfectionistic. Like this person is trying to do things properly, and they're paying attention to detail. They're really giving themselves over to this, uh, to this task. They really want to commit to this. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Six of Swords, Air Energy, the Five of Cups, Water Energy, and the Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. So there could have been a breakup here. It does look like this person is really focused on work. Like they've, they're very committed to, to focusing on making this happen. There's a goal. It could be that they're working on themselves or they're focusing on their finances. But there's something that they're really throwing themselves into because they don't want to have to deal with this heartbreak. Because with this Five of Cups, it, it looks like there was a major let down in love there was a disappointment there was a heartbreak and they have regrets around that situation this is someone who is really hurting um but they're trying to move on they're trying to heal from this with the six of swords they they're doing whatever they can to move forward and with the temperance they are trying again to heal the very healing energies here they're trying to also restrain themselves from going back to the past or from overthinking the past because there's a slight feeling of depression with that five of cups like this is someone who when they think about the past it really hurts so they are trying to distract themselves or you know just trying to catalyze the healing process and they're trying to be mature about it as well there's a lot of restraints with this uh, temperance self-control here but they are using whatever this goal is this task that they're doing work or whatever it is they're really focusing a lot on that to try to get their mind off of this five of cups so let's clarify these cards, uh, Aries. Okay, we have the Five of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this, this is a card of conflict. This is a card of drama, chaos, too many people involved, possibly even competition. Um, this could be why things, you know, because it looks like this this connection came to an end in some way. Something, it's like they, there was love lost here and it looks like it could have been a very dramatic kind of ending or a situation with a lot of drama and conflict. So let's see. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, Earth Energy, the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. Okay, so if you're resonating with this person who is using work or self-development or other practical matters to distract yourself from this heartbreak, or you're, you know, you're using it to try to help you move on, um, it looks like there's going to be kind of like a the past coming back around or someone who you dealt with here you know where the connection was kind of volatile it looks like they could be coming back because with the five of pentacles being in the reverse it's like someone coming out from the cold wanting to reconnect and with this uh king of um the knight of swords the knight of wands there's that energy of rushing in and acting on impulse or passion so they could be triggered to come towards you again. But with the Knight of Wands, it, it is an energy that isn't sustainable. It's someone who is acting impulsively, possibly, or just acting on 
passion, desire. So it could be that this person may come back around and, you know, there's no guarantee that they'll stay. There's that kind of energy with the Knight of Wands. This can be hot and cold, on and off, but it's like they want to come back to this. They want to come out from the cold. Um, but I do see with the lovers here, you, there's still that connection, but you'll have to make a choice. You know, this could be you who has to make this choice. It could be them. The roles could be reversed, but it does look like one person in the connection does still want to reconnect while someone else is actively trying to forget. They're actively trying to heal and move on. So with the lovers, we're seeing an energy of needing to make a choice. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Aries. we have it's time to release negativity full moon in scorpio so definitely protect your peace don't allow someone to bring you into a negative space um with that five of cups energy it's like there's, there's this need to kind of not get stuck here um if you are resonating with this person who's working on themselves and trying to find peace and to move forward you are on the right track okay so i'm gonna plot another card for you we have passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so there's definitely someone who's coming out because of passion it's it's mostly there's this energy of acting impulsively you know on desire okay so i'm gonna put another card for you okay we have dangerous pleasure the secret of reaping the greatest fruitfulness and the greatest enjoyment from life is to live dangerously. So someone is going to take a chance. Yeah. The Knight of Wands is someone who is not afraid of rejection, very confident energy, but also impulsive and, um, you know, acts, you know, uh, it can be a bit reckless, volatile, you know, very passionate. But, you know, as much as there's this passionate, loving energy, there's also conflict that can arise because of this passion. It's something... Uh, uncontained about it okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice um aries Okay, we have surrendered to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us. Even in the mundane aspects of life, remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.